does not have any rate change. Uh, as you'll see uh, in um, FY12, as we stated in the past, uh, we are no longer operating in the black. We are actually uh, losing money annually, or annually. And as you see, that will increase each year based on those projections. So if we were to continue, continue on today, um, we will, as projected in FY17, if you look at the projected fund balance uh, down towards the bottom, that includes all capital costs, it includes all expenses and revenues. You'll see that uh, basically in uh, FY17, which begins June of 2016, we will no longer have any fund balance uh, remaining in the parking fund. This was one of the reasons that uh, after we reviewed, uh, this has been um, talked about in the past, that we felt that it was necessary to step this discussion in order to uh, make sure that we end up with a fund balance that is sustainable for the parking division. Attachment B, um, all of these uh, are set up the same way. Attachment B was the original proposal, and I'll go over those proposals with you just so that everybody can uh, hear them. Basically, um, we would have a 25 cent uh, increase in the downtown two hour meters, basically going from 25 cents for 30 minutes to 25 cents for 20 minutes. In the lots, we presented a uh, 30 cent uh, increase, which would be that um, it would go to a 50 cent per hour or 25 cents per 30 minutes in the long term lots, which are the 10 hour meters. Uh, we would increase the reserve rates. Uh, both covered and uncovered by $15. And uh, what doesn't show here is we also asked for an increase in the violation rate, which is from $5 to $10. And that violation rate now currently, uh, our, our current rates are $5 for the initial ticket. After 14 days, it goes to $15. And after 28 days, it goes to $35. As part of our proposal, we asked that uh, the $10 be uh, initiated for the uh, first offense violation and go 28 days for payment. And then uh, after 28 days, we'll go to the $35, giving people more time to pay uh, their violation. And of course, the increase in the uh, time. We're looking to go from eight to five to nine to seven. That, uh, that proposed original proposal, as you will see down in the uh, projected net income after the rate change, uh, we would be in the black, we would be uh, not losing money and basically our fund balance would continue to uh, sustain the parking division. What I must note uh, and, and make sure that everybody understands that these projections that have been put together by the finance department and the parking division and what you see in front of you does not include any unscheduled repairs. For instance, uh, as you've been noted, the uh, Wall Street deck is uh, in need of some, some maintenance work. That does not include any of those uh, those items. It does not include any future projects. It just includes current operation of what we're doing today and continuing on with the capital improvement program to maintain our lots and our garages, uh, again, that are, are aging. And attachment C is basically what we did is uh, we had heard during the last meeting that there was a lot of discussion about workforce parking, whether we should raise those rates uh, to that, to that level. We have heard from people who use it. We have heard from business owners. And basically, this is just an example that we wanted to show you of one way that we could do uh, a decreased rate in those lots over time and maintain somewhat of a parking fund balance. Uh, this does not eliminate the fact that we're going to lose money over time. It just prolongs, uh, gives us more of a time period to be able to work through these, these uh, issues.